the first step is we're going to plug in our iPod into our computer. Remember, this must be a 5th generation iPod, a 5.5 generation iPod, or a 1st generation Nano. Now we're on the computer, so we're going to go ahead and make sure we have both the theme and iPodWizard.exe. A link to a bunch of themes is in the sidebar, as well as a link to iPodWizard. I also have a direct link to the theme that I decided to use. So, there's a bunch to choose from, so just pick one that you like and read the comments to make sure it works, and let's get started. We're going to start by opening up iPod Wizard over here, so let's double click that. And I'll open up with this quick tip, so I'm going to close that, and I'm going to move the window so it's easier for you guys to see. Now, I'm going to click open firmware up here, and that's our bin file that we downloaded, which is the theme. So I'm going to select mine, which is illiteracy, so let's open that. Now this could take a while depending on the complexity of the theme. So for me it's already done, so I'm going to click right to iPod right up here. So let's click that. Make sure your iPod is selected. And now it says before continuing, make sure iPod Wizard is running and in front. So make sure it's running and do not switch windows. So let's click yes. Alright, and for me it's already done, and remember this does void your warranty, so let's go ahead and click OK on this. And now we're done, and congrats on your new iPod.